Hi guys and welcome to Friday Book Haul. I have a nice little pile of books here for you so grab a cuppa and I hope you enjoy. So the first one I've got is this visitor's book. So it's just blank where people would put down their name, date, address and comment when they visited. And it has, it's got the National Library of Australia and then it's got little pictures up the top on the left hand page of different things. Sydney and Melbourne, different places of Australia by the looks. But being in the landscape format, these pages are great to fold in half to make a page for a journal. There was an Australian wildlife calendar. It's a bit beaten up, but I always grab this sort of thing. I have seen people make glue books uh, out of calendars and that, so I just put them away in one of my Calyx units and when I feel like it, I'll go through them and use some of the pictures for pages or I will alter them in some way. This is Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. Um, and someone has enjoyed colouring this one in. But these start pages are really pretty and we've still got some of the coloured pages as well that are in good enough condition. But as you can see, the black and whites have been coloured. <laughs> so I will harvest this and keep the pages that are still in good nick. <laughs> some pretty good colouring. But yeah, these pages are beautiful. few children's books. So this is Hymns and Prayers for Children, illustrated by Corrine Malvern and Rachel Taft Dixon. I love Corrine Malvern's illustrations. Someone's written in it, Christmas 1971 is when it was gifted. He wrote 1942 and 1947. Reprinted. This one's 1970. Look at those pictures, though. They are beautiful. I'd have to say, I almost prefer her illustrations of children than. Eloise Wilkins, both awesome illustrators though, that's for sure. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I've got a copy of The Night Before Christmas, as you can see, it's not in good condition at all. This one's got beautiful illustrations as well. It's a great fodder for a Christmas journal. And half the work's already done for me. Evergreen magazine. I had a whole heap of these at one stage out of the bin and they have um, some quite interesting little bits and pieces to use in your journals, like some poetry and just little sayings. You can cut these bits out and use them. I think I've got a plastic container somewhere that has lots and lots of this sort of thing that I cut out of them all. It's one of the first things I ever got when I was making junk journals. So I harvested piles of it and it's all sitting around not getting used. So 
And now I've got another one to harvest and not use. Oh, that's great. Chocolate ad. Around the world. Um, there was just like a pile of kids books. I just grabbed them all and I thought I'd bring them home and have a look. if I do much with this one it's not really the style that I like Hansel and Gretel this is in the same collection as the previous one Tawny Scrawn the Tawny Scrawny Lion and the Clever Monkey 1980, which is a golden book, apparently, produced by the same mob. Then there were some little golden books. So there was Heidi. You can see it's quite dirty, so this one will probably just be for any of the good pages that haven't been scribbled on. Is, uh, 1955 to 1961. There's a few good pages in there. Snow White. Bambi Friends of the Forest, it's a soft cover, fourth printing 77, bit of scribble again, hence why these ones were in the bin, Cinderella, every time I get a copy of this it's all just coloured and patchy, 28th printing 75, Yeah, great um, scrappy pages on the inside to use as extras. My Kitten. This one's by Eloise. 73. That's got gorgeous illustrations. Three Little Pigs soft cover. 77. Santa's Surprise Book. I haven't seen this one before. 60, so this is 76, six printing. One looks like fun to use. Haven't seen this one before either. Baby looks soft cover. Lots of scribbling, which is unfortunate. Seventy-seven. This must be Eloise as well. Yeah, by the I can tell by the back of the baby's head. Yeah. Bunny book, no front cover on this one. 73. So gingerbread man. 72 and 65 it says. has two under there maybe it's the second printing wow that's heaps far up uh, boy with a drum lots of scribble eighth 
printing 1980. I don't think I have this one either, so it can sit in my collection for a while. And a little golden picture dictionary. 81. Okay, so next we've got some more vintage style or antique ones. This is the Shakespeare's Treasury. Really love this spine. So this one's 1869, this one. So older than I thought. But yeah, you can feel the print these old ones. So nice pages in that one. This one is the complete prose works of Ralph Waldo Emerson. Love the spine on that one. The cover's quite nice. So this would have to be an antique as well. find some room in my antique cupboard. Oh, I love it when they have these ads at the back. Beautiful paper. Mateship with birds. Um, gifted in 38. Nineteen twenty two, it was printed, copyrighted, and we've got some photos in there as well. Magpies, and cookbars. So that's a great little book. This little one, which is the Iliad of Homer. So I've got another one of these. I think I've got one with a really nice cover. But I like the size of this cover to do something with. This is a 1934 reprint. Pages are like your old Bible pages, the real thin paper. So yeah, this one's mostly for the cover. This is old. The Australian Gardener, 28th edition. Such a sucker for the old gardening books. Don't know why. Probably because I like plants and that, but... Hang on. Don't know if someone's restuck. Really so, yeah, they have restuck these back in because that is upside down. <laughs> Beautiful pages. Uh, the forward has a date of 1942. But I just love these. So cool. I'm going to need a bookcase soon just for my vintage garden, the very vintage gardening books. That I never use. <laughs> I do have hopes for the future, though, of doing a lot more vintage-style journals. At the moment, I'm having too much fun um, with all my design teamwork, so I live in the moment. Uh, a Circuit Rider's Wife by Cora Harris. I do like the cover on this one. Uh, gifted July 1911, so it's obviously an antique as well. In that case, it's got some water damage. It looks like mold on the side there, so I'm going to have to remove that. Yes, yeah, so I don't think I'll be doing much with the 
interior of this one because of the water damage, but the data chips I might get away with scanning the few pictures that are in there and doing something with the cover if I can clean it up nicely. Look at the cover on this one. The back's a bit better, you can see the embossing more. It'd be nice to try and restore this one in some way, but we'll see, that could, it's hard to tell if that's mold or what. Uh, this is gifted in, I think it's 1872, I would say it's 1872. Is this written by, I don't know, Nathan's comments. A uh, yeah, practical commentary upon the first epistle of St. Peter, volume 2. 1845 is the copyright date. Yeah, so that's been water damaged as well. So it's just those start pages mainly. bad the cover. There were a few bird books. It was this one, The Liar Birds of Mount Buffalo. Love this cover. Quite a fancy cover really for how big the book is. <laughs> Tiny. But it looks like it's just a paper, a dust jacket that's been stuck on or something. Gorgeous though. in there that's pretty cool they look like age spots oh look at that it's beautiful so they're beautiful vintage photos in there i have to look that one up a bit um this was on the ground <laughs> i picked it up <laughs> it's pretty dirty i should probably just ditch it I just liked it. <laughs> I could probably go and buy a pack, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so bird books. There were three of this set, four of this set, which is an awesome set. They sell these on eBay and that. Um, they can be quite expensive, especially for the whole set or particular ones. I think I'll have to look up again. I do have a few of them here already. But the more the merrier. So I've got um, birds of the Victoria Ranges, of the Victoria Rare Species, Oceans, Bays and Beaches and Inland Waters. Also, oh, it's Victorian Southern Australia, that one. And the rest are just Victoria. So... Uh, 1973 revised one have gorgeous pictures that are glossy but beautiful pictures should keep a set for myself when I get the whole set 75 on this one Beautiful. 74 revised. And this one is 75. This is Malcolm Arnold's Birds of the Top End. Don't know. I just grabbed all these. I didn't look in them, so I'm not sure what they are like. This one's 1997. That is gorgeous. Very pretty. Oh, yeah, they're lovely. 
really cool because I don't have the numbers on them like a lot of them do. So it has the numbers over here, which is very handy. So they'll be able to be used. Actually, that'd go really nicely, I reckon, with the Witchcraft Do You Do Bird set that I have. So I might have to make a journal just with this book one day and that. Very pretty. And there were three of your Ladybird Senior books. I think they're all Ladybird Senior ones. Yeah. These will be hard to use. I'll look up about them first. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, yeah, I just love these. But the thing is, I don't tend to just sit and read these books. So it's actually more sense for me to use them. But yes, I will look up about these because I don't see these ones very often. It's just that these uh, pictures out of these will go perfectly in the journal I'm making at the moment. So they've all got their dust covers. Look at the covers too. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, these are great. Don't. Do they have a date? No. It's alright. I'll be able to find out. But look at the pictures. I've already got a collection that I'm building up of your Ladybird books. But in the end, I probably would use them for journals. Um, I mean, that's what I'm keeping them for. But because I've got a few, I just keep getting them because I love the pictures in them. But as I said, they just sit on the shelf gathering dust. So um, unless I find out they're worth a whole heap, I will use them. Because that makes sense. Oh, look. That is gorgeous, isn't it? That might go on my journal as well. And this is Smart Buttons Make the Vital Difference. Choose from Adelaide's biggest variety on the Maya ground floor. That is so cool. Never know what you're going to find. So what one's this? Second, so what have I got? British birds and their nests. That must be one, two and three. I'll have to see if it's the whole set. Excited to look these up now. They're in good condition. And this one. Big old finch, I love them. I've um, been getting them in my backyard over the last couple of years, which is great. Don't know if we'll get them back though, because I've just weeded my son weeded all my big weeds and they tended to like the weeds. Uh, one more. And that is this. I couldn't believe I got this. Love it. The language of flowers. I do have a newer version of this bigger one. It is too. But this one looks quite old. Looks very old. Although it's printed from it's copied but still nineteen thirteen this little note was written. I'm not sure if that's the date for this one so that's another one I'm going to have to look up but this is gorgeous. So yeah it's got the names of the flowers and then their meaning. Oh, here we go. Yeah, 1968. So it's definitely just copied. It looks like it's co a copy of the original, which is so cool. So that is awesome. All right, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I was wrapped with some of the ones I got this time around. Do take care of yourself. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye.